Hi guys, I'm back with you again for another children's church lesson. And this is kind of taking the place of our children's church on Sunday morning and even our Wednesday night class and our Sunday night children's choir. So make sure you check and see the songs that I, I've attached to this video that you can uh, sing along and kind of practice some of the songs that we sing at church. So this week we're going to be reading another devotional. Last week, we talked about God's people become slaves, and we talked about how the Israelites became the slaves of the Egyptians in, um, in the Old Testament, and how they were treated badly and made to build big cities and pyramids, and they had to make their own bricks, and it was really a horrible, terrible time, and this went on for many, many years. So our next uh, devotion goes right along with that. It's called Baby in a Basket, okay? And this also comes from the book of Exodus in the Old Testament. So it says, Exodus 2, 1 through 4. Pharaoh didn't like God's people, so he passed a mean law ordering Israelite baby boys to be done away with. But one Israelite woman had a plan to save her baby boy. She made a large basket from the tall plants that grew near the river. She sealed it with sticky tar so that it would float in the water. Then she carefully put her baby boy in the basket and set it out along the tall grass on the river banks. She placed her child in God's mighty hands. The baby's sister, Miriam, stood by to watch and see what would happen. Now, maybe you remember hearing this story before. This is the story of Moses. And when he was a baby, the Pharaoh wanted to kill all of the Israelite baby boys. Can you imagine um, all the baby boys dying? And all the Israelites were so upset and sad. So this mother wanted to do whatever she could to try to save her baby's life. And she believed in God. And she trusted God. And it says that she put her baby in God's mighty hands, you know, knowing that God would take care of him. And she sent his sister, Miriam, to kind of watch over him. She stood back afar and watched to see what would happen. So the Israelites and this Israelite mother and Miriam trusted God to take care of this baby. And this baby is baby Moses. So we'll find out what happens with him next week. Maybe you already know a part of that story. But um, did you know that the Egyptians used tar to seal their boats and keep the water out? So they didn't have big fancy boats like we have today, but they had to keep them from sinking. So that was pretty smart, wasn't it? So just think about this week how uh, God took care of baby Moses and how God made a way for Miriam to watch over her brother. And we'll get together again next week and find out a little bit more about what happens to Moses uh, when he's in the river. So I hope you check out the two songs that I'm going to attach to this video. And I hope you have a great week. See you guys.